In this video we're going to look at the Coke can problem from the z-score standard normal uh, problem set. Let's uh, just pull up a couple things here real quickly that I've st already started doing the calculations. Here's the situation. We've got some Coke cans that somebody is claiming contains an, an average, a mean, of all the Coke cans is 12 ounces. That's often called a null hypothesis. When somebody's claiming something is equal to to something or another, we're not sure. We're never going to be able to look at all of the Coke cans. Uh, but they're claiming that that's what the situation is and somehow they know the population standard deviation is 0 0.13. Uh, let's see, I think they probably said that uh, that it's normally distributed. So the original population was normally distributed when we take samples of size 7 then the distribution of the sample means will also be normally distributed. This is the point of the central limit theorem. It's an enormously powerful theorem. It says that the distribution of sample means will be normally distributed. It'll have the same mean as the population had. Okay, so the mean of the sample means will be the same as the original population and the standard deviation will be the standard deviation of the original population divided by the square root of the sample size. So all of a sudden we know a whole lot about this distribution because of the assumptions that we made over here. There were two assumptions. One was that the the null hypothesis that the mean of, of the, the, the amount in all the cans was 12 ounces uh, and that this was normally distributed and somehow we got this standard uh, deviation of the population as well. So what we want to find is this red probability, the probability of being above 12.15. Uh, what we can find uh, with, with R is this, uh, let me see if I can't get another color here is this yellow area back here. Okay, Because we could just find the p-norm of 12.15 with a mean of 12 and a standard deviation of whatever this turns out to be. Okay, Now that yellow area would be the wrong area. The, what we want is the red area so it would be 1 minus that yellow area. So here I'm doing the calculation. I'm using my uh, my script editor here so that I can keep notes on what I'm doing. Calculate the probability of 12.15 or more in a sample size of 7 uh, from a mean of 12 and a standard de deviation of uh, 1.13. I wish I had it said with a mean instead of from. So what we're going to do here is take 1 minus this amount. Okay, 1 minus that area would be the yellow area. The part that I've highlighted here is telling me the er yellow area. So if I take uh, um, 1 minus that amount, then I'll be in great shape. So all that I've got to do then, oh, let's see, I've probably already done that down here. No, I didn't. So I'll, I'll need to uh, cut and paste this and put it into R or however you go about uh, moving a command from your script editor down to R. So there's the calculation. So that's what the area to the right should be. I can copy and paste that into here and uh, check my answer. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, and the answer is is correct. <laughs> okay. Good luck everybody. I hope that, that made some sense.